Uh, with lawmakers debating more stimulus money, uh, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson says any additional funding for small businesses should only be given to those that can demonstrate a need for it. For example, he says businesses could disclose what percentage of revenue that they've lost due to the pandemic. Senator uh, Johnson joins us this morning. Do we still need to, to, uh, to fine-tune the stimulus we already have, or do we need more, Senator? Well, good morning. First of all, it's hard to say exactly how much we've actually spent of the $2.9 trillion of uh, financial relief, but it's probably somewhere uh, around half, maybe less than half. So we probably have about $1.4, $1.5 trillion that has not been spent, not been obligated. So before we start talking about authorizing more spending, we really ought to take a look at what we've done, what worked, what didn't work. And let's face it, we had to do something massive. We had to do something fast. I think, you know, in hindsight, it by and large worked. We didn't see market seize up. We had to provide liquidity. We had to provide that type of certainty. But now we, I think, can really take a look at what has not been spent, what has not been obligated, and let's let's sharpen our pencils and let's try and direct uh, future financial aid to, to those workers, those businesses that truly need it, and particularly those businesses that uh, really are viable, can reopen, might need more capital. Uh, we just need to be smarter about how we approach it moving into the future. The, the dealing with, uh, with COVID in terms of shutdowns and reopenings is, it's not even just statewide, it's almost county-wide uh, specific to, to what's happening. But could you just comment overall on, on what we're seeing, some of the troubling signs that we may be seeing in, uh, in states that were not necessarily the, the original spots, hot spots, but now seem to be uh, moving into that into that arena like Arizona or Texas is it troublesome and, and does it does it mean that you know that maybe the, the economy won't open as quickly as we had hoped well I was a pretty early advocate of trying to keep as much of our economy open as possible recognizing you know so much of our economy is integrated if you want to keep hospitals and grocery stores open we need all the distribution systems open as well and that every business every organization is essential to somebody uh, but what we should have really focused on, again, I'm not being critical because policymakers from the president on down had to deal with some very imperfect information at the time. But but now we've learned. But, you know, from my standpoint, what we should have been focusing on are the non-essential businesses that really pose a significant risk to out-of-control spread. Remember, the goal here was to flatten the curve so we wouldn't over overwhelm our health care systems. And by and large, that hasn't happened. In fact, what's really happened is we've underwhelmed our health care systems. And it's important to recognize that a a elective procedure for one person may be somebody's life-saving diagnostic or treatment. And so from my standpoint, we, we really should try and keep as much of our economy open as possible, open as much as we can, as safely as we can, re recognizing the human toll of this economic devastation that we're undergoing right now. Would you vote no against a, a additional stimulus, Senator? At this point, absolutely. Again, we, we haven't spent about half but one states point, are, I, there, no, there's not. nothing that, that would make sense for you where it was something that, that's really in need, a, a, if it could be proven that, that that's something that's, that's needed too late? Well, I, would I would absolutely vote to redirect, repurpose, okay. remedy part of the $2.9 trillion. But right now, we do need, not need to authorize more spending. That, that's probably the last thing we need to do. Uh, but we do need to take a look at what we've already done. Again, not being critical of it. We had to do something massive. I think, by and large, that worked. But now we need to uh, focus and really direct what we're going to do in the future based on, on you know, what we're, we're dealing with right now. One of the biggest problems with the relief packages we passed, uh, we, we wanted to help workers, no doubt about it. Everybody wanted to do that. But the $600 flat payment uh, plus up of state unemployment, uh, Wall Street Journal ran an article, 68 percent of people currently on unemployment are making more on unemployment than they made in their job. That is a huge disincentive to return to the workforce. And I hear from employers all the time, they can't hire people. They, they can't bring them back. We have incredibly high levels of unemployment. There's still jobs open that are going unfilled. So anything we do, we need to make sure that we provide incentives for people to come back in the workforce and the capital for businesses to reopen.